500 meters into the race and we're just at a standstill trying to get through a bottleneck here. So here we are at the first aid station. Fruit, banana, orange. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Eleven and a half kilometers into the uh, Blue Trail and uh, we are climbing. We're about 800, 900 metres up now. You can see the town down there. It's an amazing view of lights all the way up the top. Absolutely incredible. Just running through the forest. There's been quite a bit of uh, kind of level or downhill running at the moment. Um, we've climbed about 1500 meters. So this is a station number three at 21 kilometers. Okay, so three hours, 39 minutes, and the cutoff is four hours, 15 minutes. So that's quite good. And uh, we've got ten and a half kilometres to the next to the next stop. So this is the checkpoint at thirty-one kilometres, nearly twenty miles. Uh, we've climbed over two thousand metres, so about a third of the climbing that we've got to do. It's about five kilometres to the next aid station and then 12 to the next after that, and then it's a really big, steep climb all the way to the top of the mountain. It's a real mixture of runnable ground, but also really rocky, difficult, volcanic terrain. Okay, I've been running for just under seven hours and done 35 and a half kilometers. It's getting light now, definitely getting light. This aid station and then one more before the climb to the top. So there's still some work to do. Still some work to do. Over 20K still to go to the top. 38 kilometers. 
7 hours 26 minutes. It's light. We've made it through the night time. Let's hope I don't have to put the head torch on again later on. thousand meters climbed now. So we've arrived at quite a pretty little church, backing onto Teide Mountain, volcano. And uh, this is the final aid station before we head up there, 48 and a half kilometers. And uh, we're doing okay, I feel, I feel, obviously I feel tired because it's such a lot of climbing, but relative to CCC and Transvolcania, I'm actually doing all right. Okay. Yeah, it's tired. 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 Yeah. High and hot. Fatigue. Okay, so we've done 54 kilometers. Now, as far as I understand it, the top of there, the top of Teide, is 58 kilometers. So we've got four kilometers to go to the top. It is really hard. It's it's very hot, although there is a bit of a cool breeze because we're so high up. So that's one saving grace. I'm worried about my water because I've got a lot of water or coke left. So I'm trying to conserve that. And because of that, I'm parched as well. And it's a barren landscape. A lot of it is this sandy stuff here and then a lot of it is just volcanic rocks, boulders to climb over. So, better get on I suppose, 4k to go to the aid station at the top and it's taken me 11 hours and 19 minutes so far. one kilometer to go to the top and to the aid station but everybody's running out of water it's so hot we're all parched so very amazingly some well obviously the race directors left loads of water down here for us which is an absolute godsend unbelievable this is the top of the climb and he did it. And we did it. Well done. And uh, you can see for miles. Right. I'm so dizzy and tired with the, the altitude. So we're 3,500 meters above sea level here. Okay, I've literally had 10 minutes rest in there. Had some tea, threw up massively, which was awesome. 
<laughs> and now we've got 13 kilometers to go to the next aid station. We're all very tired. Boy, error from me, and didn't bring my watch charger with me, so my watch has died. So I'm now relying on other people to tell me how far to go to the next aid station and what the time is in the race. So we are at 72 and a half kilometers, Recibo, Quemado, and uh, we have another big descent to come, and then we've got that nasty climb. Right in the clouds now, I could probably take my sunglasses off actually. I won't be needing them anymore. This descent has gone on far too long now. My legs have had it. My quads are absolutely wrecked. So look, we are here. And uh, we've got a big 500 meter, at least 500 meter climb now and then it's down to the finish. So I've just done the 500 meter climb up through the forest, back touching the clouds again, we're that high. So now it's downhill to uh, the next aid station. That was so hard. It was just never ending. And uh, then hopefully back onto the beach to the finish line. And that there is what we just climbed up all the way to the top of that from down there. Do you remember my first Transvolcania video where I was walking down the street backwards? Well, it's come to that again. We're going backwards and it, I think it's quicker. Still got 9k to go. Eight K to go. Voila. There it is. Not long now. I'm not going to make it before the sun goes down behind the sea. 